they've got some guys on their club that can hit like Joey Gallo had a two homer game over the weekend and he follows it up with a three run shot that ball was absolutely smoked by big Joey Gallo who could not buy a hit last year playing for the New York Yankees but a lot of guys that play in New York don't do very well but the Minnesota Twins did not bat an eye when they signed him as a free agent in the offseason and boy is he paying huge dividends that's a little cutter that didn't do a whole lot and uh, a lot of times part of those don't make it to the catcher's glove a low line drive home run that got out yesterday is 16th multi homer game uh, the twins won big on the road and Joey Gallo hit another home run he had two home runs yesterday He's hitting over 300 and a lot of people are wondering why would the Minnesota Twins go steep so early give a one year deal to Joey Gallo we knew that the restriction on shifting was going to play a major role but this is a guy hitting well under 200 do you think this is sustainable for Joey Gallo can he be a 280 290 type of hitter is that, is that for real. Well, it can be, and I think one of the reasons why the Twins went out so early and 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 got him, you know, kind of like a, a a buy low option here with with Gallo, because you you know the potentials there. You saw it in Texas, not just you know from the offensive standpoint, but you know what you're going to get defensively, and he has the upside from from the offensive perspective to drive in runs and hit for power. And you know, does he hit enough for average? You know, we'll see, but. A big thing for me I think and I think for him we've heard a lot of left handed hitters talk about it is just how the restrictions of the shift how that's played to their psyche and I mean it would have been big for me as a left handed hitter too. So if, if we want to look at last year and how basically every team would play a left handed pull hitter you have the third baseman going into right field or they'd shade everybody over to the right side and. You know as a left handed hitter when you see that it's easy for everyone to say well just hit it the other way Well, you can't you can't just do that. You know the pitchers that like when, when I would catch and I have a left handed hitter up the whole game plan is to get him to hit it where the people are. So like just to be able to poke the ball the other way is not is not as easy. As it's it. got to be distracting though that that the, the entire left side of the field is wide open for a hit. Well yeah it, it, it's got to it, be like distracting. No I, yeah it, it is it is a little distracting but you got to understand too that. You know as a hitter your ground balls are going to go to your pull side. Same thing for righties and then when you're when you're late on a pitch. You're going to either foul it off, swing and miss, or you're going to pop it up. That's just the physics of it. So it's, uh, the way it looks now is the way it looked, you know, for 100 years. Yeah. Right. So Dan, this is how it looks now, and it, to me, I, I, I would probably equate it to a, a tee box in golf. There are some tee boxes when you stand in there, you're like, ooh, this is kind of tighter. Ooh, the water feels like it's in my face. And certain tee boxes just don't play to your eye. I'm wondering if Joey Gallo, who mashed when he was in fifth grade, in eighth grade, in high school, right? Guys played like that, where there's a third baseman over there, shortstop, second baseman, and first baseman. Maybe it just plays to his eye more. What do you think of that? I I'm, I'm buying that but but I think more now so than ever there's more velocity in the game of baseball in the last five years than there ever was in the history of baseball and so you have some of the games great saying boy you know if you get to leave that if you're Tony Gwynn I can hit that's Tony Gwynn but how many Tony Gwynn's and George Brett's were there there weren't many guys that are Hall of Famers so when you come up to plate and basically anything you hit and it's not just Alex Avila it's not just Joey Gallo listen to Anthony Rizzo he talks about it too he talked yeah. about it after the game Earlier the other day tonight, saying yeah. hey you know it, it's just it's a different look and so when you're trying to tell a guy hey take 97 miles an hour because there are more dead brain heavers in the game of baseball than there's ever been right now listen it's about the radar gun and how fast can you throw and how hard can you spin it so it's not the day and age there are very few sinker slider relievers in the game of baseball they're extinct just like the dinosaurs everyone's looking for the same thing velo and spin rate it's hard to stand in a batter's box and look at that and say well all I have to do is shoot that ball that way no. when it's coming in 98 miles no. an hour that 88 would sink sink or slider those days are gone and it's hard to do that. The other, the other thing too is you brought up Tony Gwynn George Brett guys like that incredible players people that guys that I idolized they got base hits between first and second and up the middle all the time. Correct. And now the last few years you've had a guy playing right behind second base and a guy playing a short right field for that left handed hitter and even for right handed hitters you had teams shifting all the way over 
And now at the fact that when you, as a hitter, when you come up to the plate and you actually see the holes that you've seen forever, knowing that when you hit a ball up the middle is a base hit, when you hit a ball into the hole, it's a base hit on either side, that just psychologically, if it's a good feeling as a hitter, like you know, like even if I get out a little bit out in front or if I pull a little bit on an outside pitch and I hit it back up towards the middle, there's still a chance it can be a hit. Batting average on balls in play so far this year, and I know it's the early stages, up 11 points from last year. And Joey Gallo is helping that batting average on balls in play.